Every year, millions of people lose their body organs such as liver and kidneys in accidents or by some disease. They are stranded in expensive hospitals as they wait for a suitable organ donor. The unavailability of human organs has also led to illegal organ trafficking through shady hospitals. However, this demand has also caused new inventions into the science of organ making. In recent decades, scientists have successfully been able to synthetically print human organs a lot like how the 3D printing works. Fascinating, isn't it? Combining the realms of engineering, biology and technology, organ printing has opened up new possibilities for regenerative medicine, providing hope for countless patients in need of organ transplantation. Join us on a captivating journey as we explore the remarkable history and discovery of this groundbreaking innovation. The roots of organ printing can be traced back to the early 1980s when the idea of tissue engineering first emerged. Scientists and medical professionals began envisioning a future where damaged or diseased organs could be replaced with custom-made replicas tailored to fit each individual patient's needs. The true breakthrough in organ printing came in the early 2000s with the advent of bioprinting. The concept was inspired by traditional 3D printing technology which had gained traction in various industries. Researchers saw an opportunity to adapt this technology to create complex 3D biological structures. In 2003, Professor Gabor Forgax at the University of Missouri successfully printed living cells through the bioprinting process. This pivotal achievement laid the foundation for the future development of organ printing. The method involved using a specialized printer loaded with cell-laden hydrogels to deposit layer upon layer, creating living tissue constructs. Over the following years, researchers honed their skills in selecting appropriate cell types, optimizing biomaterials and improving the bioprinting process itself. The year 2006 marked a significant milestone in the history of organ printing when scientists at Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine successfully bioprinted and implanted the first solid organ, a human-sized bladder, into a patient. This groundbreaking achievement demonstrated the potential of the technology to address organ shortages and sparked further enthusiasm within the scientific community. In the subsequent years, researchers expanded their focus beyond bladder tissue, successfully printing more complex structures like blood vessels, cartilage, skin, and even patches of heart tissue. Each advancement brought the field closer to the ultimate goal of printing fully functional transplantable organs. While the field is still in its early stages, significant progress has been made in recent years. Here is an overview of the process of organ printing. First, Imaging and Design The first step in organ printing involves obtaining a detailed image of the organ to be printed. This can be done using various imaging techniques such as MRI or CT scans. The imaging data is then converted into a digital 3D model using specialized software. The 3D model serves as a blueprint for the organ that will be printed. Second, Selection of Bio-Ink Bio-Ink is a crucial component of organ printing. It is a substance that contains living cells, growth factors and other biomaterials necessary for the organ's construction. The choice of bio-ink depends on the type of organ to be printed. Different cell types such as stem cells or differentiated cells can be used as building blocks. Third, Preparation of bio-ink Once the bio-ink is selected, it needs to be prepared for further printing. The living cells are isolated, often from a patient's own cells or from a donor source. These cells are then cultured and expanded in the laboratory to obtain a sufficient number for printing. The cells are combined with a hydrogel or other biomaterials to create a printable bio-ink. Fourth, Bioprinting process The actual printing of the organ begins once the bio-ink is ready. Bioprinters are specialized 3D printers that deposit layers of bio-ink in a precise manner according to the digital 3D model. There are several bioprinting techniques available, including extrusion-based, inkjet-based, and laser-assisted methods. Each method has its own advantages and limitations, but all involve layer-by-layer -layer deposition of bio-ink to build the organ structure. Fifth, Cell Maturation and Differentiation After the organ is printed, it undergoes a maturation period to allow the cells to grow, differentiate, and organize into functional tissue. The printed organ may be placed in a bioreactor or a specialized culture system that provides optimal conditions for cell growth and development. During this stage, the organ may receive nutrients, oxygen, and mechanical stimulation to promote cell maturation. Sixth, Vascularization Vascularization 
or the formation of blood vessels within the printed organ is a critical step for its long term survival and function. Without a proper blood supply, the cells in the organ cannot receive essential nutrients and oxygen. Various techniques are being explored to promote vascularization, including the incorporation of bioactive factors or the use of sacrificial materials that can later be removed to create vascular channels. 7th Transplantation Once the printed organ has matured and vascularized, it can be considered for transplantation. Before transplantation, the organ may undergo further testing and evaluation to ensure its safety and functionality. The transplantation procedure itself will depend on the specific organ being replaced and the surgical techniques involved. Over the past two decades, significant advancements have propelled organ printing forward. Researchers have successfully printed a wide array of organs including skin, blood vessels, cartilage and even miniature human livers. These achievements have raised hopes for addressing the critical shortage of organs available for transplantation, potentially saving countless lives and alleviating human suffering. While the road ahead may be challenging, the future of organ printing is brimming with immense possibilities. With further advancements in bioprinting technology, it is not inconceivable to envision a world where waiting lists for organ transplants are a thing of the past. Customized, patient-specific organs could be printed on demand, reducing the risk of rejection and eliminating the need for immunosuppressive drugs. As research progresses, it is not far-fetched to envision a future where organ printing becomes an integral part of healthcare, heralding a new era of personalized medicine and transforming the lives of millions worldwide.